It is with heavy heart, yet a resolute spirit, that I come before you to address the recent events that have unfolded within our dear state. I denounce in strongest terms the illegal impeachment by the Edo State House of Assembly over Trump up charges. This is not just an attack on me as an individual, but on the very democratic principle that we hold there. It is a dangerous descent into dictatorship and a threat to the foundation of our democracy. Let it be clear that this impeachment was harsh because of my ambition to contest the Edo State 2024 governorship election under the People Democratic Party, PDP, an ambition that is a legal right to all citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's a sad reality that in our political landscape, ambition is meant with resistance, and those in power seek to silence opposition through illegitimate means. I have dedicated my life to serving the good people of Edo State with integrity and honesty. I have worked tirelessly to improve the life of our citizens. I have uphold the values of democracy and justice. And yet, in return, I am faced with baseless accusations and a blunter disregard for due process and rule of law. The allegations brought against me are nothing more than a full screen to conceal the true motive behind this impeachment. It's a flagrant abuse of power and a betrayal of the trust that the people of Edo have placed in their elected officials. We refuse to stay inactive while our democratic institutions manipulate and exploit for personal gain. We will fight this injustice with every altar of strength in our being for the sake of the people of Edo State and the future of democracy. I call upon all well-meaning citizens of Edo and indeed all Nigerians who believe in the principle of democracy and justice to stand with us in this moment of crisis. We cannot allow tyranny and oppression to take roots in our society. We must resist the forces that seek to undermine our freedom and trample upon our rights. To the members of Edoceas of Assembly who have chosen to forsake their oath of office and participate in this charade, I say this. History will judge Ashley for your betrayal of the people who elected you to represent their interests. But know this, you do not have the power to silence the voice of justice and truth. I call upon the judiciary and all relevant authorities to intervene and uphold the principles of justice and fairness. Let the truth prevail over lies. Let the rule of law triumph over lawlessness. I am confident that the legal system will vindicate me and expose the sham that has been orchestrated against me. I want to reaffirm my commitment to the people of Edo State, to the values that bind us together as a collective. I will not be deterred or intimidated by those who seek to subvert our democracy. I will continue to fight for the right and freedom of all Edolites, by extension Nigerians that suffer oppression. I will stand firm in my resolve to see justice done as we stand united in the face of tyranny and oppression, I urge all to remain calm and go about our lawful duties as good citizens and true Democrats. Together, we will overcome this dark chapter in our history and a much stronger and more resolute in our pursuit of freedom and just society. Thank you for the opportunity given me thus far. God bless Edo State. And God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I remain comrade.